hyperprogression has been uh, talked about out there, as was pseudoprogression quite a bit uh, when these immunotherapies first hit. I will tell you that from a pseudoprogression standpoint, I, I feel like it's been overstated quite a bit. I think uh, that we haven't seen it as much in the lung cancer patients, uh, perhaps as maybe those who are being treated for melanoma. Uh, from a hyperprogression standpoint, well, we know hyperprogression exists. We've seen that with chemotherapy. We've seen patients who, even though may have mutations or alterations on the appropriate therapy, still have a high uh, progression rate early on. I don't think it's related directly to any immunogenic standpoint. I think there are a certain subset of patients where we may do the right thing that we perceive, but their disease reacts in a very poor way. And it's going to require, again, more investigation, more research, and, and trying to figure out exactly why uh, we have refractoriness to treatment. And, and that has been a struggle uh, in, uh, in oncology.